Hello, how is everybody doing tonight? Heather, how are you? Actually, I'm it's, doing not well, night. Thank you. it's not night for you, though. Not night <laughs> and it, it depends. I guess it depends on where you are, whether it's night, day, whatever it is. It's, I guess it's evening for me, five o'clock. So that's in, in Eastern time, but not at all for you. Um, I'm yes. having a little lunch, and you get to have a late supper. So yeah, that's exactly. always the thing on the Wednesdays. It's weird. Late lunch, early supper. That's right. Actually, I do mine after the show, so it's a late dinner. So anyway, okay, let's quit talking about food. But listen, hey, this is awesome. Go ahead I'm, everybody. Hungry. I'm hungry. I know, I know. We see some folks out there. Awesome to see some folks already out there. Good to see you guys. There you go. There's Richard, Jolin, Jim, Ron. There you go. We've got some all community members so far, right? That's right. That's right. That's we got Mike out there There's well. Mike. Hey, Mike, what's up? From Canada. Huey. There you go. Huey, how are you, sir? They're already starting to put it. Okay. Well, without further ado, let's introduce. <laughs> Even I'm, this. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, California. <laughs> oh, California. There you go. Um, we're going to talk about uh, something that's pretty cool. Google Nest. I use a lot of the products and not a lot. I, I use half of the product. Maybe. Okay. Maybe a third of the products, but anyway, um, <laughs> the, the, the cool things that I have. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of cool. And it's an awesome subject. And this person I met went um, out in all of the different summits and things like that. We got to meet each other and we've been in some hangouts together because of our groups and stuff. So I'm looking forward to having our guest on who is, Jill Gundaker. I don't know if that's right. Oh, good. I got it right. Thank you. You don't know. You know what? Now I'm now I can just relax. I'm going to go have a drink. I'll see y'all later. (laughs) I just want to make sure I got that right. Oh, you did. No, yeah. No stress with that for sure. (laughs) There you go. So as everybody's already doing, you can do the same. Tell everybody, where are you from? I am living in Arizona. I'm outside of Phoenix, one of the suburbs there. I'm not originally from here. I've lived in a couple uh, states in the U.S. from the U.S. Navy, but now I'm here in Arizona. That's awesome. And and I know you said this before the show or whatever. How many different places? I'm just curious because you mentioned about three or four when I was, we were talking to you. So I can do that pretty quick. Uh, New Jersey, Connecticut, South Carolina, wow. back to Connecticut, Washington State. So. Wow. <laughs> that is quite a few. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. But you've been in uh, Arizona, though, for quite some time now, though, right? Yeah. So yeah pretty, pretty much. Just it. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Awesome. Awesome to see everybody out there. we got some people from Florida and Canada and both sides of Canada. Hello from Iowa. Hello, Sherry. How are you from Iowa? There you go. There you go. Richard says he has son living in Phoenix. How about that? Yeah, we were just talking about that. The train. Thanks a lot, Ron. To bring bring it down, dude. What's up with that? (laughs) Big news. No, I know, I know. I'm just having fun. Born in Seattle, love the Pacific Northwest. There you go. But she now is in uh, Utah, right? Isn't that where she? Isn't that where? Yeah, yeah, Utah. That's right. Murd is. Another member. Awesome having you guys here. I love having you guys. You guys are awesome regulars. Jill, tell people uh, kind of the forums that you're on. And those that don't know what the forums are, I'm going to actually screen share that. Just a reminder to some of you folks. These are, if you ever have any questions, you just go to support.google.com. And these forums just pop up. You just go to the one that you have questions about. And you can see right now, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but the Google Nest has the home symbol. There's no Google home anymore. It's Google nest now. So the home looking looks like a house or home plate anyway, is Google (laughs) nest. So tell people what forums you are uh, presently on and using and helping. I think my biggest um, presence now is in the Google nest uh, forum. I started in Chromecast uh, quite a while ago. um, Just when Mm -hmm. that was their only hardware, um, I think that was literally their only hardware device back then. So Chromecast kind of morphed into some of the more, they started getting the helpful home things like the, um, the original Google home. And now it's the net and the thermostats and the cameras and the doorbell. <laughs> uh, what are the, <laughs> the smoke? They have gone all out. So I'm primarily in the 
director of Google Nest, but I also do um, sometimes because they're all dwarfed in there and answering a couple questions in Android TV. So kind of into some of the other awesome. products. So there's mostly, mostly, most, and I like hardware. I like that's where you find me. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. I fantastic. I don't know if the video is broken up for uh, a couple, uh, but it, 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 it it'll, my, no, it it's, my, so. no, it's not. It's so your video broke up a couple of times, but basically you said nest mostly. Right. And you, and you said uh, started out in Chromecast. Right. Do you still touch it dabble in, in Chromecast at all? Do you I do. I do. do yeah. You? Yeah, well, and I don't mind helping. Sometimes the um, people get bored of answering the same questions. I know a lot of the same questions, but I always kind of like helping somebody on page one. You know, someone's got to start somewhere. Maybe they never had a Chromecast before, so there's some things that. That's awesome. Yeah. That is so great. I mean, you're you're absolutely right too. That is so cool and so great. All right, I'm going to show quickly. Just if you go into uh, like even the Google Store. This is how much because they've turned the mini, the home, all these other stuff into <laughs> um, everything's nest now. <laughs> it's real easily easy to get confused, should I say? <laughs> so this just has like a, like I said a list of all these different things. You have the the nest mini, the nest the nest hub max, the nest hub, the Google Home max, Google Home, Google Home mini. Sometimes they leave in Nest. Sometimes they leave out Nest. So it, it can it can get pretty confusing, can it? There are tons, and I, <laughs> honestly, I I need to look sometimes to see what the official name is because sometimes <laughs> Google Nest and something else after it. So you know <laughs> that's that's true, and you have to preface your question sometimes, or or if they ask a question, you have to make sure you're right. you know what device they're even <laughs> talking about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So exactly. like, like I love, I don't know if you have one of these, but I have a Nest Hub Max. I do. I have it. And I bought one for one of the daughters so we can. We I can love talk. that. It's so great. And it follows you around. It's got the camera. So yeah. it can follow your movements and you can turn it off. You feel like it's not always on and looking yeah. at, you know, recording or anything. I use it. The camera on that, when I leave the house, it'll come on just so when I'm not home, I can see. Exactly. The area. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. It's security, but it's. Every day, I ask the you know the weather. It's I love. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, nice it too. It does. Yeah, I mean, I I like the idea <laughs> that it has the built-in Nest camera. Mm -hmm. I know I know a lot of people get nervous about that security-wise. Yeah, like that, like anything. <laughs> right, that's a concern. I mean, people have that concern. That's a, that's going to be, I think, big news for the you know as more people get more of these. I think that privacy and the security. I feel really mm -hmm. safe with that one. I also have one of the smaller ones without the camera in the bathroom, just so I can get like an update on my way out the door or whatever. But that one doesn't have a camera. I feel comfortable with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Especially in a bathroom. That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. It's a great idea. <laughs> Leave that camera yeah. out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel really comfortable with the one in the kitchen and that's where I have the big Macs out there. So I'm comfortable with it turning off and on and, no. <laughs> I'm going to ask you, being, being a product expert and everything, I'm going to ask you, what? how do you feel like using it? Do you feel like it's easy or do you feel like it's really difficult sometimes? Just because cause you're a product right. expert and I know you answer a lot of questions, but I figure I'm going to ask you that. What do you think? No, that's a great question. I think um, I kind of use the product sometimes different than the people I help. I use ones that make me comfortable and I, I find like um, I don't do a lot of voice requests for TVs and people do that like they want to watch what Netflix on something and they'll do a voice request and I do it on my phone. I find the the Nest Max really easy to use when I want to make a phone call. I used it the other day for a meet, meeting and it was super easy. So I think it's I use it a little different and people use some of the deeper features that I don't. So I think, you know, we all can find our little space that makes us comfortable. You don't have to do everything with it. And I don't even do that. So that is a great, great point. Yes. And, and Phil says, am I understanding this right? Home is now nest. The home name is deprecated. Home is not deprecated. It's still Correct. Google nest now. And I think at some point it's going to be like a bigger, you know, chunk, but they're still using Google home 
home is a big, 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 big brand branding kind of thing for them. So I think that'll oh, stick yeah. around. And they want it to be the helpful home and all the products be home related. So, but the mini and the cameras and all that stuff, even I, I even think they did Nest thermostat. Yeah, it's, I mean they yeah. changed everything else. Yeah. Everything else except for, like you said, the Google Home and the Google Home Mini have stayed home. They're still home. I did, yeah. <laughs> one of the Nest, I had a question the other day because the Nest box has changed from Nest to Google. And somebody was in a store and took a picture. And <laughs> they were like, which one's newer? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. What did Mark say there? I, I missed it. I'm sorry, Heather. What would you recommend for an entry level Nest product to simply monitor another room in the house, like a puppy cam? Yeah, I That's have a good one of question. the. I have the IQ camera in the house. I mean, they have like cameras, and then they have the hub thing. If you're not interested in, you know, finding the weather or any of that, because that has a camera. Mm -hmm. If you don't want that, you could just do that Nest IQ. I have one of them um, in my um, room. It's great. So I look to see what, what's out there and i have it if anybody broke in the back door it would see something in the so that's kind of like a good puppy cam gives you vision had some good night type views on it it's not great i don't have the setting i don't know you know it's dark unless somebody walks through you're not going to see too much but this one the one that's not few costs a little less drawer and i find it fine i think the it's a little bit less outside one the distant in how kind of like what you want to spend they're all great cameras the kids in the max um i want are great they give you a nice view so i think we got most of that again kind of blanked out with the internet a little bit, but that's oh. all right. No worries. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's good. No, but I, I think, I think we got the, I like what you said. I mean, it's all the cameras. They all work fairly well. They all, they'll do what you need them to do. It's more of what you want to like, like you said, that's the IQ is perfect for the puppy cam because it's right there. It's isolated. It's there and you're not doing anything else with it. Right. I think, I think that's the key. Whereas if you want the hub max where it's giving you all this other stuff and it's got a screen comes up and you want your, and you have your grandkids come up or your cat like you do and yeah. come and swipe, swipe the screen. You know? yeah. <laughs> then, then you just, yeah, then you can uh, uh, do that. Yeah. That's a great, that's a great uh, point. That's an excellent point. Now, <clears throat> and I don't even know, I don't, I don't have any other cameras, so I don't know. Do you, you, you said you do have an IQ? Or no? I have the IQ in the living room and I have an outdoor and I have the doorbell. Nice. So I got kind of a, yeah, I have a pretty big setup. <laughs> do you, okay. So do you, I, I just want to know for personal, cause uh, maybe I want to invest in one. Do you find it uh, where it doesn't work or it's not giving you something or the results that you want, or you're like, dang, I wish I had this or whatever. I'm just curious. No, I think I really invest it the way I want it with them. I have been having internet problems like you see here. So I'll do, I have a couple camera dropouts. We had a big dropout last night. Don't think it's nest side issues. I have had no issues with it and I've, I've had nothing. I think that some of the, my announcements are delayed a little. It would be the only thing I run into, but that could be a my side issue. So they have a package announcement. So that's kind of what I was talking about with that. I got so you, I got drop at the front door, get a package announcement. And sometimes they're like a minute delayed, which is weird. But, and there's gotcha. nothing I would purchase different. I really like what I've got. And I, you know, I, I purchased wisely and installed wisely. So. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, you know, that's, that's great. So like in the forums, when you, obviously you're in there answering questions all the time. And there's a lot of times where it's really too technical for us mm -hmm. to even answer. I know I feel that way. And you and I kind of had this yeah. conversation in the green room beforehand. Yep. What, uh, what questions would you say that the ones that you probably answer most of the time, like I know there's people that are out there thinking about this or want mm -hmm. this, or they might have it and you might be able to help them with something that, uh, that, that comes up quite often. So a question that might come up. Quite often. We get, um, as you get more of these devices in your house, more of the devices answer when you say, okay, gee, so you hear, mm. you know, you're trying to set a timer in the kitchen, 
the big one hears you and that's not helpful. <laughs> so um, I answered that a lot. And now they have made a setting and one of the uh, one of the deeper settings, you can go in and you can do a microphone sensitivity and you can make your kitchen one the most sensitive and yeah. turn off some of the other guys. So that's a big question we get a lot. And I'd love to help people with that because that aggravated me the most. <laughs> <laughs> you can relate. You're, <laughs> go ahead, Heather. I'm no, sorry. I can totally relate to that one because, um, with, okay, so I have a very small apartment. It's a studio mm -hmm. apartment. We basically have two rooms, the one right. we live in and then the bathroom. And in the bathroom, I have a speaker. And then in this room, I have my Wi-Fi, which has the speaker. Right. And so there are times where I will say, okay, G, set a timer. Mm -hmm. And then the bathroom doesn't hear that. But then the timer goes off. And I'm actually in the bathroom and the timer goes off. And I say, okay, G, turn off the timer. And it says, you don't have a timer set. As the yeah. timer coming off, I'm with a speaker. I have lived this. Yeah. <laughs> I have lived me. And I, then you get mad at it. <laughs> you get mad? I get mad. <laughs> oh, and you start yelling at it like it's you know, not going to do anything. But yeah, then they've kind of addressed that with the latest, that sensitivity. I find it's really worked well for me, really well. <laughs> I have a small house, and it's, the rooms are all connected and open. So I, I've so lived that problem. How do you run the sensitivity then? Do you make the one that's gonna that you are around the most, do you make that one the most sensitive and then turn the other ones down? Is that I how it yeah, and it still works great when you're right in front of the one. So for I have a bathroom right next to my kitchen. So I put the kitchen one. I always want that one for timers. I don't want anybody else in the house to take care of timers. So I turn that one to the max sensitivity, and I turn the bathroom one down to the like lower, second lowest uh, increment that they had. And then it, it's fine in the bathroom if I ask it a question because I'm right there and it hears me and it's not overhearing another one. So, yeah, I have I have way too many devices because every time I go to a conference, they give me one and I've got like unopened one. I, That's a I have one in the box. I have one still in the box. I'm actually thinking about doing a giveaway with it because I have no use for it. It's uh, um, I'm it's registered for that giveaway. Yeah. I'm registered yeah. for that giveaway. I need another one. <laughs> How can that be? <laughs> can the, can any Nest products interface with an alarm monitoring service? That's interesting. I think they're not monitoring. I think there's some service. I think Vivient or Vivent or whatever it's called um, had a, an action that they put, which is like a third party. Like they take care of the, the development yeah. of that action. And, and, and you would yeah. say, okay, talk to whatever it is. I don't think any of the monitoring right. works directly. As far I as think I, I heard... Mm -hmm. through the grapevine that CPI and ADT, they wanted to stop that from happening because they already had that yeah. market. Yeah. They right. had that market and they didn't want Google to get in on that market. They said, right. we'll work with it, but we're not going yeah. to let you have it. You know, I, I think that's kind of, and they, I, I don't know. That's just what I heard. Actually they did it first with Amazon and echo. Right. There was a big to do about it or something oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, just that right. I read, just that I read. I, I, and again, I don't know enough about it, so I don't know, but yeah, that's I interesting because people that already have like ADT, I get that. I understand, you know, if you already have that security system, that's a great question. Excellent question, actually. And I don't, have I, don't know, I don't know if you've heard any different. I don't know if you've heard. Any no, different. I don't, I don't, I, I know they have the nest secure. I'm not, from, I don't have that, but I know they have their other, but nothing monitored. And I can see why the bigger companies wouldn't want to, you know, mm -hmm. allow that, like that, a monitored system, but we'll see. Can any, can any Nest products interface with an audible alarm to deter an intruder? I know doesn't um, ring does, or doorbell. Doesn't that doorbell have something to sound or something that you can do? Something you can be it? remote and talk to the person. So, or a little message. So you can say, you know, get away from my door <laughs> and they okay. assume, assume you're in the house. Nothing that I have has alarm things. There may be something that works with, Assistant, but I'm not, I can't think of off the top of my head. But Pitbull, maybe Rottweiler. <laughs> you could set that up now. I'm now I'm <laughs> doing that because I could do that. Let, <laughs> let a pit bull out of its cage or a Rottweiler out of its cage with a little that's plugged in. You just set it that's and the right. cage opens. <laughs> you like home alone. You have some sound. Turns on a TV show. Yeah, that dirty rat. Exactly. So yeah, so yes. 
this is the Mert or the Mert hour. We're gonna I like get. It. Any, I love it because she's asking some Nest questions that are good. Can any yeah. Nest products work to unlock the front door or open the garage door or not yet? Garage. Um, there's uh, Chamberlain works with Nest, or mm, I don't want to hundred percent say that, but Chamberlain had an an action that would work with opening the garage door. Yale locks, which yeah. I also don't have. The Yale yeah. Nest lock thing works for the front door. People like that a lot. And I'm really kind mm -hmm. of intrigued with that too. I've heard that too. The Yale. Yep. So Yale's, and that's a great company. They've been around forever, but they're, they're involved with the nest stuff too. So garage doors, people do that. And it's not to open or shut. You can say, shut my door, but you can't open it because of a security mm -hmm. thing. They don't want somebody yelling in your front door to open your, you know, or yelling right. in your window to open your garage. <laughs> they have access. So that's always been a, a kind of a one way thing. But yeah, there's some some options. I use my cameras to make sure my garage door is shut because you know everybody. I don't know if everybody's like me, but you're halfway to work and you're like, did I shut the garage door? I'll look at my Nest app and make sure that the garage door is indeed shut. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I wish my neighbor would shut their garage door. Can you hook up a camera for them, please? Because I hate looking in that thing. <laughs> Yeah, right. so this is for home builders, okay? If you're a home builder, please build the garage so you have to pull in and not so the neighbors can't see it. So it's in the side of the house, please. All right? I don't want any front face. I don't want to see my neighbors. That's a, yeah. They have everything but cars in there. It's incredible. <laughs> they got a full ping pong table and all this stuff, but everything's on the ping pong table. So whatever. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So I see okay, you know, no Sheila. <laughs> can't have an individual voice for each device. Each device in your account will have that same voice, but if you have another person in your house, they can have a different voice. And my husband has a woman's voice, and I use the man's voice. But we're like, I don't want her telling me what to do. <laughs> So I have a male. Is, oh, actually, Google doesn't even do the male, female. They have like just, they do it by color, you know, so it's not. Color, gender, yeah. color. It's really yeah. nice. So I have a male sounding voice. They even, they even have like an English British <laughs> accent. Yeah. I don't like that voice. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I don't like right. that. Is there a web based control panel for settings? You can do um, nest.com and go to your settings that way. Um, so, yes. Yes. But so that won't decided. control, and you correct me if I'm wrong, that won't control like your mini or your home or any of that stuff. It's more for the video end of it. Is that right? Yep. It's a Nest camera, doorbell, smoke alarm that's in there. And then, and, and that's kind of weird too. There's some stuff moving with the Nest cam with the Nest app to the Google app. So the Google home app. <laughs> so I see my thermostat and all that in my Google home app now, but yeah, the Nest one has web-based stuff, but the Google Home stuff doesn't. So, you know. You can Got you. Yeah, that makes sense. That's easy way to distinguish it. Yeah, that's an easy way to distinguish it. That's good. The only problem is when you start adding the Google Plus Nest Home Max Hub <laughs> or whatever the heck that's. <laughs> they have like 19 names. Mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I don't know if I have that device. <laughs> well, that's why they have those little pictures now. So we were like, oh, I that's, have right. That. that's right. Looks Everything's like emoji. It's all, it's all going to be an emoji by the end of it. It's just a huge emoji is all you're going to see. <laughs> Brain exercise pictures. <laughs> That's right. I have a Nest app and a Home app. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I both. <laughs> so I, I yeah. use the Nest app. I use the Home app more, but there are some settings that you really do need to go into the Nest app, like Nest Aware or any subscription mm. things. I clip making, like if you want to save a clip from the camera, you got to go to the mm. Nest app. Or the Nest web page. So, yeah, there's a, I hope one day. <laughs> yeah, so I'm using my mini for an alarm, morning news, quiet music for 30 minutes at night, and control four lights. Perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. I, I love yeah. controlling lights. I, I am so lazy when I go to bed. I'm like, turn off the living room. <laughs> Set yes. the air conditioner just to 40. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> 40. Arizona talk right there. I get it. No, <laughs> I like, you know, my and, and you, you've heard me say this. I say it every single time and every single, uh, every, every time we get together with our uh, product managers, I always say this. I really wish they had a different command for your phone. That would be so much nicer because you can do some things with your phone and uh -huh. some things with your devices 
like text messaging, for example. I can't text message from my Google Home, but I can certainly do that from my phone and not my Google Home. I would love that ability to have either two things, you know, either say, OKG mobile or OKG, you know, or just OKG, whatever, whatever it is, I'd love to have two commands for that just because. So with a Nest and mobile, when you're, when you're remote, I was actually leading in, I was trying to segue into this. What do you find from having the product? Cause you have three different cameras from what I understand, three or four, whatever. What do you find from mobile uh, is a huge convenience and probably, probably what you think is, okay, this is why I'm glad I really have that. Can you kind of give me an idea or an instance? Like house security, like when you're away and you can check the house or, you know, if somebody's watching your house, you're like, hey, there's something at the front door. You know, can you check the front door? I really feel security wise. I like that. I can make sure the house, the air conditioner is all working. It's not going to be bad for the pets if I'm not home. I feel very secure with those kind of things. Um, I was out of town and we had a smoke in the house. My husband was just cooking something, but I got an alert on my phone that the smoke was clearing in the living room. <laughs> and so I called him. I'm like, yeah, what, what's going on? And it was just the oven cooking this app. Yeah, but, it, yeah. you know, I could call 911 if I wanted to from there and have somebody at my house right away. So the connected smoke detectors with all this, you know, kind of technology. Mm-hmm. They Sounds like your husband cooks like I do. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We all cook like you know. Sometimes that really, that really piqued my interest because mm-hmm. I use all the Nest products mm-hmm. to uh, monitor my grandmother. She's 96 and she lives in her house by herself, and we're in the little casita out back. And so this allows her to have individuality and and some freedoms with safety. Mm-hmm. You know paramount so that it's kind of nice i think it would be great to have the thing tell me that there's smoke in the house yeah. it will also turn on the cameras you can they work together so if you have the smoke detector mm-hmm. it detects smoke it'll turn on cameras and turn off the air conditioning or the heating if it's on so you're not mm-hmm. you know making the water wow. and mm-hmm. i saw in the home app not the nest app but in the home app my cameras now have an alert to call 911 so right on the screen, there'll be a little That's like awesome. little symbol. And it was new last, like maybe last week or two weeks ago. So I was like, oh, what is this? Then you can call 911 or, you know, your local emergency. So I don't know if it's technically 911. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, yeah. that's interesting. That's pretty cool. Wow. But all those safety things do work together. And I find that it, it, the more, like you don't really realize it when you get the products. But then as you use them, you're like, wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know exactly. the that would turn the air conditioner off if there's a fire. So it's pretty cool. says that it would uh, really be uh, really cool to name the devices so you can activate a specific yeah. dice device. You can sort of do this with an Alexa and Echo. No, I totally agree with you. It's kind of like what you guys both were talking about. Hey, listen, turn off. Hey, listen, kitchen, turn off the stinking alarm, would you, or whatever. Or, yeah. No, it, it would. It'd be great. Yeah, that's right. I'm not talking to you, bathroom. I'm talking to you, kitchen. Right. Yes. yes. Naming is a big question we get a lot, and I've actually yeah. gotten numb to it because you know I wish I could change the names to it, but people really do want to individualize that, and I can totally see because it doesn't always roll off your tongue. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I I know that I would mess it up though because I would say like the basement, yeah. and if we have more than one device in the basement, I'd probably mess it up. But anyway, yes, <laughs> really like being able to cool down the house on the way home. I use the Echo settings, but on some hotter and mm-hmm. colder days, it's nice to be able to uh, have the temp right when I get home. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's perfect. Hundred <laughs> mm-hmm. percent. Yeah. Make it yes, warm. Good. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you don't have to make it warm there. You guys got plenty of warmth. Yeah. You, you probably never say that. That's it's probably so, the opposite of what you guys say. Every now and then it'll dip down and we have to get out our big coats and pants. <laughs> yep. Yep. Temperature dipped down to 95 today. So uh, I like cool is 95. <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. No, I know. I'm in here with the two Arizonians. Oh yeah. my gosh. I'm sweating just talking to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, good t- cool in the air conditioner. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Good stuff, though. This is excellent. No, th- so one thing with uh, Nest products, um, how do how do uh, you see? And maybe because, and I only ask you this because you were a Chromecast as well. Mm-hmm. Do you see Nest and Chromecast maybe coming together, or maybe Chromecast going away because so many things become are becoming devices or whatever, and now TVs are coming with that kind of stuff? 
What do you, right. what do you see with that? What do you, I mean, and this is just you being clairvoyant here. So. I just think it's all going to be like living room home related. So like maybe they fold it in, maybe they don't, maybe it ends up in the app more, maybe it doesn't. But I think that more convenience in one location, whether it's your phone or, you know, the web, whatever you're, you know, that from your couch where you can control everything. So I think they mm. fold it in and I think they want to make it more cohesive like that. But I think they're working to my, to what I see. I think they're working with, getting the nest stuff together and, and then we'll work on, on like kind, kind of kind of what our phones did for us mm -hmm. i mean if you think about it we used to carry a day timer right. yeah and, and now we have our calendar and all of that stuff and all our appointments everything all in so it's basically i and and that's pretty smart i mean that's a pretty smart answer and probably i i see that your point there you know what i'm saying it right. really does it, it really is going to be like okay i don't have to get up anymore Right. You know, it's like, like when we were all kids, yeah. our, our, you know, we were the remote control, you know, that kind of deal. <laughs> Go turn exactly. the channel or whatever. And I totally think that like with voice requests, like I think a voice request mm. when we first had to type in www dot, you know, back mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, we had to type the whole thing out that we wanted. Now we have to do that with voice. So I think that whole search is changing too. So I don't know. Yeah. So, Convenient, cool. but maybe you know some bumps along the way because it's not always easy mm -hmm. to spit out those big long you know requests or whatever so or it doesn't hear us <laughs> yeah so what what have you i'm I, i'm just curious because i'm a product expert oh go ahead do the devices have a battery backup we have a lot of power outages the thermostat will work for a bit that one has a battery in it um, don't know about other things and doorbell doorbell turbo has power because it goes to that little transformer thing i guess now and i know the lock does not have a battery on purpose i know the lock, lock does not have a battery on purpose you have to have a key as a backup that's your backup that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. Was, i'm not too sure about security that security wise security wise they don't they didn't want to put a battery in it because if something weird went wrong and unlock your doors automatically or something. They didn't want yeah, that, that to have sense. to happen. <laughs> we deal with more like Wi-Fi dropout issues. You know, it's like people have mm. like not great Wi-Fi. So if you're losing your Wi-Fi what devices, how, how is the device going to be after that? But the thermostat has a battery that should work. It, char it, I don't know, it charges. <laughs> I have to go cool. take look at it so. yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> hold on i'll be right back let me go check it yeah no no doubt no doubt yes yeah the thing uh, about smart devices and smart homes is uh electricity is a requirement mm -hmm. yeah and some things will hold you know i want to say like the thermostat but nothing else like cameras will be off Cameras mm -hmm. off and Wi-Fi down. I mean, you know, they really are dependent on that. So, yeah. So do you have, uh, I have to ask you guys an Arizona question. Do you guys have like two air conditioning units in case one goes down? Because <laughs> that would be absolutely miserable. Tons of, tons of people do. They have like up and downstairs ones. I have a really small house for here. They have big houses, but I have a really small house. It's just my husband and me. My kids are growing yeah. up. Right. If you right. have multiple ACs, it's because your house is that big. Right. Okay, I got you. It's not. It's yeah. not because nobody has a backup. Back. No, we're back. <laughs> no, we I, don't would, I would. If I lived in Arizona, I would have a backup. I'm just pool. telling you. Yeah. Oh, it's called a pool. Or you have a friend with a pool. You have your own daughters. You go to their house and you bring your animal. Oh, your daughter and you let it die. <laughs> yeah, you know where all the pools are. That's yeah. okay. What you're Okay. That's no now lie. I have waited in my pool for the air conditioner guy, and I'm not even exaggerating. Like <laughs> I'm in the pool until he gets here because it's 85 in here already. <laughs> it also helps to have an air conditioner person in your family. <laughs> Speed so dial. Say the house that you're living in. Yeah. yeah my right. air conditioner guy yeah. is actually a Nest Pro, and he installed my doorbell, and that's oh, how I met nice. him. <laughs> nice. He, he owns an air conditioner company, and we needed him that summer. And he was like, you should really look into the Nest thermostat. I really like them. And then we got the thermostat. But yeah. Nice. That's awesome. That's nice. awesome. All right. Listen, we're going to wrap things up here. Time flew. That was awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. I mean, it, it, it was so cool going over some of this stuff. There's a lot out there. Oh. There's a whole ton of things. And really, 
all the time. They're thinking up stuff, all kinds of devices, even with just, even if they don't make a device, they have a plug that'll make that device work like yeah. a toaster, like a, a coffee machine or whatever. They, I mean, there's so many things out there as far as products and what you can do really it's kind of endless, you know, like I've seen somebody that maybe didn't have like a, a nest garage door opener, but they have a plug that makes that garage door opener work and, you know, that kind of thing. So anything you can plug in pretty much, you can turn into um, a nest product or something, whatever they're calling it this week, a home or nest or Google home, max <laughs> hub, whatever, you know, whatever. Um, but it does require like Mark, Mark's comment. It does require power. You do have to have power for most of the stuff. So, yeah. Jill, thank you. Oh, thanks. Thank you. That's great. This is fantastic. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I love talking geeky stuff anyway. So, yeah. awesome. <laughs> anyway, it was awesome. It was fantastic. Uh, I, I hope we get to see each other again at a product uh, summit someday thank soon. You. Generator. Generator. Wow, two air conditioners. We don't even have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quit bragging. For when the power goes out. That was interesting. Thanks. You bet. And that's smoking CO alarms is wired in my home and have batteries for when the power goes out. There you go. Nice. Good to know. Excellent. Yeah, that, that one wouldn't really make sense too, especially if your power goes out. Cause I'm sure things inside Arizona home would start catching on fire because it's so warm. No, <laughs> Sun coming through the window actually is like a magnifying glass and set something on fire. <laughs> no, it's been a blast. Thank you so much, Jill. I hope you come back. I hope you come back because it was so much fun. Love having you on. Oh, there you great. go. Thanks. And you guys, thank you. Anybody's left comments and that's out there. We're awesome. If you want to know more about us and tinkering with tech, just go to tinkeringwithtech.net. That is our website. You can go there. It's a public site. You can go learn a little bit about us and then you can become a member there if you want to. Thank you so much, Jill. We are going to leave you and we're going to meet some of those members. You get to see some of the, and talk, chat with some of those members personally in our after backstage pass. Sounds fun. Um, thank you again. Thank you, everybody that came. We will see you. Heather, thank you so much. As always, we appreciate you. And we will see you in just a little bit in the backstage pass. Those members, thank you.